What's going on guys? It's the Pancake Renegade and welcome back to Fallout 3. This is part 9 and today we are going to exp what? No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, we are going to explore well, we're going to explore three locations. Northwest Seneca Station, which I've already marked, Hamilton's Hideaway, and the Moonbeam Outdoor Cinema. The outdoor cinema seems unlikely since cinemas are normally above ground. Well, I don't know when that is. Underground. Yeah, cinemas are above ground. Hamilton's Hideaway. It sounds like a hideaway for Hamilton. And the Northwest Seneca Station. I think we should go there. And let's see. It's over here. It's past these buildings. Yeah, I'm really going to try and upgrade my uh, agility as best as I can. Okay, Northwest Syndicate Station. Let's see where it leads. Or where it takes us. Open chain gate to Northwest Syndicate Station. Oh, yeah, wait. Are there going to be more rats in here? There's a wastelander. Let's take the 13 caps. Oh. You're not... Not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? What secrets? The secret of making Ultra Jet, obviously. Oh, damn it. Now the cat's out of the bag. Typical me. Nice job. Uh, Ultra Jet, that's some sort of super chem? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say, you might be able to help me with that. Nothing's free in this world, Murphy. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't think you were a freaking charity. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So you in? Speech 52%. Make it 30 caps each and you got yourself a deal. Fine, anything to get what I need. Now scram, I got some preparing to do. Cool. So it looks like there's no, uh, no, whatever they're called in here. Let's see, open door. What's this? Manhole to Moresti service tunnel. Hmm. Seems a little bit fishy. Let's see what's down here, though. Dead Brahmin. There's an enemy up ahead. So let's get our weapon out. Meyer lurks. Let's see, come here. No. Oh. I'm trying to shoot you in the face. There's another one too. I'm trapped. Ooh, one health. Just in time. Okay. Just eat all this. Radiation level is increased. Minor red poisoning. That's fine. Going on a stick. And just eat all this junk food, you know? Nice. 
Actually brought our health up a decent bit. Cool. So the face is obviously the soft spot for Mirelurks. Um, everywhere else, they're just protected by a hardened shell. So, let's see. There it is, it's up ahead. Right here, kind of hard to miss, but... There's this thing right here. They're kind of hard to see, sorry. Uh, it appears that you can disarm this tripwire. Disarm. Cool. You get XP. And then, where is it? There's a grenade cluster up here. Ah, here it is. Good. Ah, shoot. Okay, yeah, so you don't want to touch those. Uh, there's lots of traps hidden around here, so you gotta be careful. This arm. Ah. Cool. Yeah, quite a few traps. Uh, do I want to go... Let's start going this way. If it doesn't lead anywhere. Then we'll go the other way. Uh, there's a tripwire right here. Let's disarm it. Ah! And then a combat shotgun, which is gonna shoot at us. Oh. Repair. We need 45 or higher. Okay. Another trap right here. Disarm. What was gonna? I, I assume that was gonna hit us. Ah, there's someone right there. Okay. Let's see. If he becomes hostile, then we'll save here and. Let's save closer. It's too lazy to walk. Okay. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Speech 41%. I really need to get by you. It's important to find what I'm looking for. I don't care what you need. This place is off limits, and that's that. Hmm. Oh, sure. Look, I don't have time for your bullshit. Turn around and go back the way you came. Otherwise, they'll be scraping you up with a shovel. Watch it, will you? Are you gonna get mad? Oh, I can't even... Dang it. Okay, so it looks like I have to... Hmm. If this doesn't work, I'll try and reload it. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Already heard that. Speech 41%. All right, oh, nice. All right. I guess you look harmless enough. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. What is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. Cool. I have to go now. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Why don't you look where you're going? Cool. Hmm, so much stuff to steal, except they can't. Dang it. I'm John Henry Eaton, president of the Enclave. President. Shut up. Hey. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. What? I activate a radio when you start shooting. You are crazy. Whoa, whoa, slow down. I don't... Hmm... Try it one more time. Whoa, whoa, slow down. All right, all sweet. Right. I guess you look harmless enough. If go now, okay. I'm not gonna touch anything this time except for the gate. Gee, such a stickler. Hmm. <sighs> Cool. 
now let's see. Where it's been blocked? Yes, it has. Hey, and there's... Holly. With Vance. Then you're gonna start shooting, are you? Okay, good. Mm, let's see. Welcome to Moresti, human. Human? What are you, not human? It's an interesting thing you got on your back there. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? This place is very different from any other settlements I've seen. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. I'll allow him to continue. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Forty-one percent. None of this talk is necessary. I know exactly what you are. You amaze me. Never have I met a human with the gift of cognition that you possess. Tell me then, what are we? You're vampires, or at least you follow their fictional traditions. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now. Ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Okay. You do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings? Now, you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reigned in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Hmm. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. I've been searching for a young man named Ian West. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? I have a... Mm. I have a letter for him from his sister. Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Wait a minute, what happened to him? Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. Hmm. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. You're telling me that Ian's a cannibal? I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Ian lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Speech 41%. This letter is all Ian has left of his old life. Allow me to give it to him. No. It would not be right to disturb him in this time of meditation. 
I am sorry, but I cannot allow it. You wish to speak to me again? Now that I have a better understanding of the family, may I speak to Ian? I had always assumed if a human happened upon our home, it would be for the purpose of our extermination. It appears my fears were ill-placed. It is a pleasant surprise to meet someone as amenable as yourself. Very well. I will allow you to speak to Ian. Perhaps you can help him come to grips with his greatest enemy, himself. I have to go now. You are free to roam the common area of our home as our guest. Okay, so this quest is pretty interesting. I've always done, uh... I've always... Well, spoilers, obviously, but I've always saved Ian and gotten them, or gotten him out of here. But, now that I think on it, if Vance hadn't saved him, then Ian would be... Or if, uh, if we take Ian away, he's over here, if we take Ian away, then he... Let's just say he goes back to his sister. He would kill his sister because he wouldn't have anyone to guide guide him uh, in his cravings, uh, or he would kill the rest of the town, Arafu, or Arafu, however however you want to say it. But um, yeah, it's just an interesting, conflicting choice. I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna go with uh, keeping him here, just so that way he doesn't get out and harm anyone else. Let's see, so activate Moresti Trin. Train yard station security terminal. Okay, it requires key. We have the password, I believe. Yes. Okay. Unlock security area door. Door released. Hey, Ian. Anything else before I talk to you? No med kit in here. Nothing. It sucks. Yeah, nothing. Ian. Huh? What do you want? Been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Sorry, Ian. Your parents are dead. You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? I know what you did. Vance told me everything. Then you must think I'm some kind of a monster. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I can help you. Wait. Can I save? No, I cannot. Uh, maybe I can help you. Help? How can you help? There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? And stay. I think you belong here with the family. Thank you for understanding. This place is all I've got, and I don't want to lose it. Would you speak to Vance for me? I still need some time alone before I'm ready to talk to anyone else. I wanted to thank you one last time for what you've done for me. My brain feels like less of a mess now. I think I may be seeing clearly for the first time in years. Don't worry about me. I've been through a lot, but I think I'm gonna be okay. Would you mind if I asked about your unusual hunger? I suppose not. When did you first discover this? Or when did you first discover you had the hunger? I was about ten years old, and I was playing with Lucy down under the overpass. We loved throwing rocks in the water. We saw some wastelander trying to break open the Brahmin pens and steal one of them, so I ran over and told him to stop. He just laughed and pushed me away. When I fell, suddenly my head started to hurt, and my eyes got all blurry. It was almost like I blacked out. Next thing I know, Lucy was pulling me off the guy. I had ripped his throat open with my teeth. 
What did Lucy say when she saw what you did to that wastelander? She said I, like, changed into another person, that I even glared at her and raised my arms like I was going to kill her. The wastelander took a swing at me with some kind of club. I turned around and jumped on him. I tore his throat open with my teeth. If he wouldn't have done that, Lucy may have been killed too. I just don't know. Okay, so that's what I mean. He's uncontrollable as of now. So, normally, he says he can only talk to his sister, but he even tried to kill her. So I think him staying here would be the better choice. Did you ever talk to your parents about it? Lucy said mom and dad would never have understood. She told me to keep what I did a secret, and that she'd try and help me. Thanks to Lucy, she was able to stop that from ever happening again, for years. Every time I'd feel the hunger, she'd hold on to me and not let go. After a while, the hunger almost seemed to go away, until, well... Let's talk about something else. Yeah, okay. I know it's painful, but let, let's talk about what happened in Ar Arafu. It actually kind of makes me feel better to talk about it. Go ahead. Why did you do what you did to your own parents? I wish I could answer that. I really do. I don't even remember it happening. When the hunger takes over, it's like being pushed aside, like something else is controlling me. I can see what's happening, but can't close my eyes. I don't even remember exactly what happened until Vance knocked on the door. How did Vance know you were one of them? That's the weird thing. He has some sort of crazy sixth sense about or something. Maybe all of our kind do. As soon as I was with the family, I really felt at home for the first time in my life. It's like all these people are my real brothers and sisters. How did you end up leaving Arafu? Arafu. I don't remember how long I sat there on the floor staring at my parents' bodies. It seemed like days I wanted to feed, to eat their flesh. But it was like a little bit of me was holding on. Then, out of nowhere, there was shouting outside and a knock at the door. I opened it, and it was Vance. He seemed to know exactly how I was feeling inside. He took me under his arm and we left. I never looked back. Okay, so we saved him. I saw the family's mark on the wall. What's up with that? Vance told me later that he was basically covering for me and allowing the family to... to feed at the same time. Since my parents were already dead, they drank their blood and left the mark on the wall. He didn't want Evan to suspect that I had done it. The irony is they were stalking our town to feed anyway. It's almost like Vance knew this would happen. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, okay. Have to go now. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. Okay. So I think I really think him staying here is a is a good option. Okay. Um, because out in the real world, with Lucy or with Evan King and the rest of the people at um, Arafu, he'd just be out of control. We have a lot to speak about. Mm-hmm. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? How did you know Ian was trying to decide to stay or leave? My fine friend, that poor soul has been wrestling with the same question every new member of the family asks himself when they arrive. Do I belong here or should I depart? All I ask is that they spend the time to reflect before deciding in solitude. Wait, what about Arafu? You can't just pray on them anytime you're hungry? You wish to arrive at some sort of a bargain? Give those people a chance, they're defenseless. In light of your candor, all I can promise is that Arafu will no longer be a target of the family. Beyond that, I make no such other promises. Mm, I've always done the blood packs. It's, mm, what if they offer protection? Mm, 
There must be an alternative source of blood you can survive on. Many years ago, I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem with your idea is that these blood packs are scarce. What do you propose? Hmm. Donates blood packs, leave the town alone. Donates blood packs in exchange of protection. Yeah. I've always done the donates blood packs and you leave them alone. Um. I guess they'd be at a loss. Or the family would be at a loss if Arfu sold them blood packs and they'd protect the town. I'll do Arfu donates blood packs in exchange you protect them. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them, and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. I'm not sure I should be the one telling you this. If you fear reprisal from the family regarding his decision, Know that I would never hold it against you. And as for Ian having you speak in his place, I find his trust sufficient enough to accept what you say is truth. Okay. Ian's decided to stay with the family. When you first arrived, I was suspicious of your intentions. I can see now it was an error in judgment. I can assure you Ian will be well cared for and safe with the family. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. Schematics for the shish kebab, which is the thing he has right here. It's basically a motorcycle tank filled with fuel connected with a wire. You, there's no real wire, but it's normally connected to a wire and it feeds fuel into this. And it sparks electricity, which coats the blade in fire. It's really interesting. Ah, you've returned. Yeah. Okay. So, um, we've decided to let Ian stay. We've, um... Hmm. Yeah, we've decided to let Ian stay. We have, um... We haven't told Lucy... Or we haven't told Ian about about Lucy still being alive. He thinks she's gone. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say we did a pretty decent job. Let's chat. Oh, oh yeah, it's still steel. Okay. Just hope we get out of here without laying or running into another trap. Yeah, I thought there was something. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Okay. And let's disarm it. Disarm. Your repair, your repair skill allows you to disarm the pitching machine. Bear trap, disarm. Cool. Now we are outside, and this is the um, other entrance. This would have been the last resort. Um, yeah, this would have been the last resort if we couldn't get that guy to to answer with a sneak. This is where we came, the train yard, the guy was right here with the... Yeah, we've already been here. Okay, so... Let's... Oh, yeah, um, remove. Let's go to Arafu. Arafu, whatever. I'm so... Well, holy shit! You're back! What the hell happened out there? The family's been dealt with, and you owe me big. If I had two caps to rub together, I'd still give them to you. 
Afraid I'm as poor as a Brahmin herder, though. But goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. What about Ian? Did you find him? No, he wasn't with the family. Damn. Well, maybe he just made a run for Megaton or something. Hope you can find him one day. Sorry everything didn't work out. But consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. I have a proposal for you from Vance, the family's leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Cool. I have to go now. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Okay, let's get medicine to 50. There was only one skill point. Pair to 45. Uh, speech, I definitely want to raise, so we'll get that to 50. And then the last two points will go to repair. Mm. Let's put in lockpick. Okay. I said I'd get toughness, so let's get toughness. Uh, with a toughness perk, 10% overall damage, up to maximum of 85. Good. Um, done. Cool. Now, let's go... Okay, so I guess... You said go back to him and talk to him about it. Where is Vance? Me. Always a pleasure to receive you in Moresti. What brings you down here today? Arfu has accepted your proposal, Vance. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. Cool. Uh, can you teach me the ways of the vampire? It's probably going to be a perk. To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us. But I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the blood, allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads inside you. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you, for a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake of the blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire. Hematophage, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Perk added, Vance's teachings have granted you the ability to re regain 20 HP from the consumption of blood packs. Cool. Um, can you teach me the ways of the vampire? Is there anything else? There is no more I can teach you. Use what little I have given you well, and carry that knowledge with honor. Okay. How are things going now? Very well, actually. Our truce with Arafu is coming to fruition. I've begun teaching my people to live off of the donated blood packs. The transition has been difficult, but we will manage. You've certainly done us a great service, and I can't thank you enough. Have to go now. 
I'm certain our paths will cross again. Well, the scary vampire lair, have we? <laughs> no, I even aided you guys, weirdo. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the end of today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.